Attack on Titans Season 4 Episode 8, aka Episode 67. Guys, this episode is super sad because we lose one of the main characters. Before we begin this video, if you guys could click subscribe and like on this video, it would be huge. Helps out small channels like mine, so yeah. Please subscribe and like this video if you like it. So, we cut back to the battle with Raynor, and I was correct. Raynor does not even put up a battle. He is so messed up. One punch by Eren, and Raynor is down, and that's it. So, after that, Eren decides to retreat with Mikasa, and they go back on the blimp. I think that's what it's called, or something like that. Basically, everybody from the island retreats into that blimp, and uh, they pretty much escape. And then it's all about what's happening inside the blimp. So Falco and Gabby are very sad, they are very, very, like, angry, specifically Gabby is super angry that she's gonna go up there and kill someone, Gabby's also now my least favorite character because of what she did, and Falco is actually one of my favorite characters now because of just this episode and how much of the connections he's tying, he's a very smart character. Gabby is just too angry and frustrated to even listen to this, so she goes up there, she kills someone from the corpse and uses their gear to get up to the blimp. Once they're there, she kills Sasha with a gun, that's why it's called Assassin's Bullet. It is super sad, and I was just like, I was so surprised that she died. You don't know she dies until the end of the episode when she's pronounced pretty much dead. Super, super crazy, like, death, like, I was not expecting this to happen at all. Sasha was one of the, like, the few characters I did not expect to die, I thought someone else was dead. I thought the guy with the red hair was gonna die, for sure, but like, dang man, Sasha died. So after that, everybody starts beating up Gabby and Falco. They start kicking, hitting, while uh, they're trying to save Sasha. It doesn't work out. She does die. And so then they have to decide, what are we going to do with these kids? So Jean decides to get, show them to Aaron Yeager to show them something very important that we didn't know either. Because with Aaron Yeager is Zek Yeager the Beast Titan. I guess they must have captured him and brought him up, but this is their entire plan, basically. Pretty much, Zek agreed with Eren to do this plan to save the Eldians, to gain Eldians' freedom. So I guess Zek was going along with it, pretty much. The only thing he miscalculated was one of his friends. I guess this person was, like, really into- She's kind of like- We have this new character who's pretty much just, like, the Mikasa for Zek. It's basically like that. Mikasa, Eren, Zek, and this other character. I don't know her name. I think it's a female, anyway. Basically, as we saw, she was supposed to keep the Jaw Titan and the cart titan secure during this whole thing uh it failed because they escaped and that's why it led to more deaths and that's why zek had to transform to the beast titan and do a lot more damage than he should have so zek was working all along with Aaron in order to do this basically they need someone with royal blood and they need the founding titan zek is royal blood Aaron is the founding titan and they're going to gain the eldians freedom so i think this was a pretty crazy twist i was not expecting zek to be alongside them it looks like he was tied up with Aaron. So I'm guessing the plan didn't go totally crazy, like he wasn't like completely agreeing with them. I'm assuming they only contacted through letters like Aaron had. So I don't know, basically they're captured. I guess they're gonna do something to save Eldians with the power of the Founding Titan. Anyway, besides that, there's really nothing else. This episode very seemed very short for me. Basically, that's pretty much it. Sasha dies. Uh, we find out that Zek is actually working with Aaron for this whole plan and they're going to return to Paradise Island. Next episode. Okay, so in the next episode, it's going to be sort of a flashback. This is going to be a past episode on what happened during the events of these four-year gap. Basically, we're going to see what was going on, and it's also going to be cutting back to present time with Sasha dead, just showing off some characters mourning over Sasha. But it's going to be a switch between flashbacks of the four-year gap with showing Eren what he was doing with Mikasa and Armin, and then seeing people deal with Sasha's death. So this episode is pretty short, not too much in it, I'm kind of disappointed, I was expecting a little bit more, you know, story, but hey, that's what you're gonna get with these episodes. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, please subscribe, again, it helps so much, and uh, like this video, and maybe comment, uh, what do you want to see next? Uh, should I do more Attack on Titan theories, or should I just keep doing what I'm doing? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.